Hey everybody, Andre here, and this is a Unity project that I've been working on for a little while now. And it's basically a modern UI menu design that I'm trying to put together and release on the Asset Store. So if you're familiar with my Slim UI Solutions sort of UI Solutions brand that I've been working on for the past few months, it's basically complete projects uh, that are all user interface and user experience based for Unity 3D. It includes uh, ready out of the box menu packages, um, just templates and a, a tutorial series for developing your own UI in Unity, and then a free cursor controller that you can use with uh, any handheld controller um, for navigating uh, Unity menus that are too complex to have a standard, you know, up, down, left, right sort of navigation scheme that is uh, traditional in most games that you see today and since games have been invented. Very similar to some AAA games that come out now that have the same uh, menu layout system using this, you know, circular cursor that you can move around the screen. It's called a free cursor. But this is a new menu that I'm working on and I want to get your feedback on it because I need help finishing it. So I want to walk you through what I have so far and then you can let me know what you think I should add. So this is what we got. It's a menu and uh, this is the main menu. I have uh, a campaign and a multiplayer tab. And on this main menu, you have four different buttons. And when you hover over them, they have this nice little zoom animation that happens. So it's kind of fun. And you have this particle effect that's running in the background that we'll show more of. Right now, the setting screen doesn't do anything. But when you press escape, it drops down this menu if you want to quit to the desktop or not. You know? And uh, what else do we got here? So I'm just going to start by clicking new story. And this is what happens. So it wipes previous save data, it starts a new game, going on an adventure of excitement, life, death, and fluffy bunnies. Only the strongest prevail. Now that's just, you know, temporary text. It doesn't actually start a game. Again, this is just a menu. So I use these destiny wallpapers from the first and the second game to basically use images. This is what happens when you press new story. So it opens up this difficulty screen. Enemies don't fight back or, or they don't back down. Sorry. That would be easy if they don't fight back. For anyone that's new to first person shooters, we got medium, we got hard, and we got brutal. Some nice little animations. They all color coded at the top, so it's kind of fun. And uh, if I press one of these, let's say I'm gonna play on brutal difficulty, it loads the uh, little loading screen. So you have the particle effects in the background there, just a blurred out background, which this is actually a blur shader because I know this image is not blurred by default. So I have a blur shader that I wrote. Little loading text at the bottom. This can be positioned and this can be positioned through the inspector, which uh, is part of the Unity package. So basically, whenever I'm releasing these packages, I want to have options for users that want to use this package in their games so they can customize where a lot of these different icons go what kind of loading style they want because i have a few different loading animations so they can choose that so you're not just stuck to whatever i give you by default because i want you to have some flexibility in terms of the design so if we go back to the menu here we can go to the uh, continue we'll just actually uh, load in the the, the same loading screen. It doesn't load anything, of course, but it will just load uh, instead of you know asking you with difficulty. It just continues from whatever the previous save was. Expanded world. This is supposed to be sort of like an information log. So when you press these, it will load up different information that you can uh, maybe like cards that you collected or, or, or just some type of collectible. Any information about the lore of the game could all go here. Uh, possibly accolades or challenges or even something like Destiny's Triumphs or Collections. Uh, I don't know. I'll leave that one up to you guys what you think should go here. If I return, the world map is kind of fun. So you can basically move the mouse and look for different areas in the game. And you can't hover anything. Uh, you can't hover over anything yet, but uh, it is kind of fun to uh, have this map that's all Unity UI based. So basically I'm just dragging around a window and it's all clamped so I can't move it once it hits the edge. So it works really well. I'm working on a zoom feature, but uh, that's proving very challenging with Unity's anchoring, but it's getting there. 
So this is kind of fun. I'll probably add more details on this just for fun. Some image I'll, you know, roughly sketch together in Photoshop. But if you look really close, you see that I have these rounded edges around the boxes. So I'm using Unity masks to do this. Uh, so what else do we got here? Let's go to the multiplayer tab. So multiplayer is pretty fun. Uh, you have a rank up top that's just an arbitrary rank. I don't have any, you know, experience until next rank. Uh, but down at the bottom tells you what your ping would be if the servers are online in your area and then the region that you're playing. And then you'd be able to select the region up here. So you're finding the server that is uh, closest to your area. So you get the least amount of ping, which uh, is important if you want to have a seamless experience online. Now, Random World and Wasteland don't load up any menus yet. But basically, Random World is just quick um, you jumping online solo and um, trying to find a match. So this is basically just going to load up um, depending on the region that you're in. They'll load up and then it will just load in whatever the multiplayer game is that you're making. So if you just want to have somebody loading in a world, if it's open world, that's what you can do. And then Wasteland, which is a separate type of game. So maybe like a, a not like a team deathmatch, but maybe you know, maybe a capture the flag or a battle royale. This is what you can load up with this mode. Uh, so it's a separate mode. And then play with friends is when you're trying to load up into random world or wasteland uh, and you want to play with friends. So if I press that, so it loads up. So it loads up. Uh, I have online so I can see all my friends that are online. And then I have all my friends in total. Uh, and I just have the name IDs for now, but I want to have uh, there's going to be a scroll window. And then I'm just going to put some fake names in here. And then over here, you'll have whether or not you're ready. So actually, I should add a ready up button. So if you're ready, then the next player and the next player that's in your party, you can wait till they're ready and then you can find match. And if you press find match when they're not already, I'll put a little text that says not all players are ready, maybe up here. I'm sure you guys have some ideas about what you think this should look like. Yeah, this is a lot of fun to make these. Uh, it's a lot of fun to have these different animation styles here. And again, I just used the uh, Destiny wallpapers. So of course I have to replace it with my own if I want to put this on the asset store. But uh, it's fun to have this for now because it's it's pretty inspiring. And these images actually look pretty fun. Um, so if I could draw this myself, I would definitely be doing that. Just illustrating my own backgrounds. Yeah, expanded world really hoping to add a lot more here in the settings screen. It's just going to be, you know, a normal drop down menu just like this one. And it's going to have, uh, you know, resolution settings, quality settings, perhaps resolution scale. Uh, but this is unity. So uh, I don't know if they have that ability to do that yet with their engine. So I'll have to be creative with that one and try and find a, a substitute. But, you know, that's OK. And of course, this isn't a real game, but I'm sure that you're already thinking of a real game that you could make that uses this menu because, you know, if you want to make a, a battle royale mode, then you can do that. Um, but I basically am just trying to make a system in this game, in this in this menu that works for many different types of games. So you can change these to whatever you want, because this is very easily customized. You can change the text, you can change the colors. I made it very flexible in terms of the animations that are being reused so that you can actually do this. You can update one and it'll update all of them. So very, very easy to use. But the more I can customize it and make it feel like a real menu then uh, for a functioning game, then the more useful it will be to all the people that are actually using it, which is hopefully you who's watching this video right now. Yeah, but that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please let me know what your suggestions are in the comments so I can go ahead and improve this because uh, I want to get this out into the asset store so you guys will be able to use this in your own game. So that'll be a lot of fun and uh, really, really excited to see what you guys come up with because I'm sure you guys are inspired with the projects in your own way and you have stuff that you're working on that you would like to uh, implement a menu like this to have as that first impression in the game. And actually, I have one more thing that I want to show you. It's the welcome screen. So this is basically what I'm going to call it. It's going to be the modern UI package or something of that 
similar naming convention. And it's just a very simple welcome screen. And, uh, screen. and if you have uh, suggestions, you can go to slimui.com, press accept, and then it brings you into the menu. Yeah, really excited about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.